So without further ado, I uh, unless um, we have some any pertinent questions right now, I will uh, uh, in terms of the time, I will just be handing this over uh, to Sammy. Um, first, as just an introduction to Sammy, um, we um, Sammy is also a the co chair of um, Open Footprint Forum um, OFP. And uh, just a little bit of background on Sammy. So, Sammy um, Lakshman is the global managing partner of digital services at ERM and has more than 20 years of experience working at the cross section of sustainability and technology co-developing digital transformation that supports uh, their clients at ERM and sustainability strategies and, and performance. So Sammy will be covering uh, detailed contents of the MVP1 and MVP2. Uh, he'll provide an overview of the data platform, the user inter interface reporting, and a reference architecture. So Sammy, I will turn it over to you. Oh, thanks, Heidi, uh, and greetings, everybody. And you guys can hear me okay? Yes? Yes, yes. Excellent, wonderful, great. No, thanks, everybody, for joining. I was, I was, I was uh, uh, invigorated by this, all the chat sessions, everybody from, you know, Australia to, to the west coast of U.S., I think, we've got. So it's, it's truly a, a global event that we've got going on today. So, so thank you, everybody, for your time and energy today. Um, hopefully, it's a, it's, a, it's a fun session for us to, 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 to go through. Um, as Johan introduced today, uh, earlier, to, just a, a few minutes ago, you know, I, I wanted to take a moment and just kind of talk through what are we trying to accomplish and what are you, what will you guys be looking at today and, and give a little bit of context to this. If you imagine at a very simple level, all of us, all, everybody on this call is affected in some form or fashion by, by carbon emissions, whether you're responsible for reporting it, for consuming it, for advising companies on on how to 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 manage that data, et cetera, et cetera. In some form or fashion, every one of us on this call today is is affected by carbon. And if you think on what we're trying to do with the Open Footprint Forum, and the and the things that you're going to see today, um, and the various presentations, I want us to keep that in the back of our mind and in 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 the context of today. Um, you know, sharing that information, calculating the carbon footprint, um, you know, ideally we want to make that easier. It's quite difficult um, and I appreciate it's not going to happen overnight. Um, it's something that we will continue to work on in our, in our, in our MVPs, our minimum viable products as well as we'll talk through today. So we want to make it easier for people to be able to calculate uh, carbon footprints. Um, we want to make it easier to share information across organizations and customers. Um, carbon is no longer just a single organization thing. Everybody here has a supply chain. They have customers. They have um, people that are providing inputs, whether that's goods, products, services, components, et cetera, that into, into, the, into the products and services that you're providing. Um, therefore, we want to make sure that we have the ability to share that information across organization if you're willing to uh, and if you want to. So once again, there's a bit of optionality and opt in and into this, and we want to make it uh, you know, easy and flexible enough, um, but also we want to be able to facilitate that process. Visualize a, a, a company's carbon footprint across the board. Um, and then also equally, we want to make sure that we're able to, to report information to external stakeholders and industry groups. I will re-emphasize that this isn't us working in a silo. As Johan showed you, there's a number of organizations companies, technology providers, consulting services companies, industry frameworks, other groups that you'll hear from today and, and tomorrow and just in general uh, that we're working with. So it's not just, um, you know, a single initiative that's run by, you know, Sammy or whoever, um, but rather it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a coalition of the willing is the phrase that I tend to use a lot in these kinds of uh, sessions. Um, we do want to make it industry wide. We do want to make it, um, you know, um, a, 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 a consistent and common way to to view and share inf uh, emissions related data. And so, therefore, we're we're really focused on creating a set of deliverables that's going to help facilitate these objectives. And so, we'll talk through that today. And I've got the fortune of uh, introducing some of the topics in that that we're going to see today um, in greater detail. So. 
as Johan mentioned, you know, we talk about this data platform, we talk about this reference architecture, we talk about the user interface and reporting. I wanted to break that down a little bit in order to articulate what is it that you're going to be looking at over the next day or two. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the data platform. And Gomar is going to do a wonderful session here right after mine to, to, to talk through in greater detail. So I'm not going to steal his thunder, uh, but in a very simplistic manner, what I want you to think about, it's a consistent way to exchange, process, and store emissions-related data. That's what I want you to, 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 to consider as you're listening to Gomar. Um, there's some work that's that's already happened and continue to happen with aligning that with various reporting standards, with reporting frameworks. Many of you on this call are probably going, wait, how does this apply to me in the context of GRI or WBCSD? Um, we ourselves in this, in this group have had those same uh, questions and also are then working to engage with those various organizations so at the end of the day that it's aligned. But fundamentally, we want to enable that data to be accessible whether that's accessible through the platform itself that we'll, we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit, whether that's accessible through APIs into systems that you may already be using or leveraging or companies on this call that are providing to, to, to member organizations. Um, any of that at the fundamental level, we wanna make sure that the data is available and accessible and consistently able to be shared. Okay, so that's what the data platform is about. As I mentioned, Gomar is gonna go into a lot more detail than I will on, on my session. So let's keep that in the back of our mind. We talk about this reference architecture and reference implementation. At the end of the day, we wanted to create a, a, a template. Um, so whether it's from data entry to reporting to integration, I've got a simple schematic uh, thumbnail of a graphic. Um, Saurabh later today will we'll, we'll, uh, talk through that once again in, in, in much greater detail. Um, you know, As we go through this, um, we'll see that towards the, the back half of the session today. But ideally for those folks that want to better understand and how to, to leverage this, this solution that we're developing and working on at OFP, we wanted to have a template that can be you know, implemented relatively easily within your organization, within your company's technology landscapes. It's all based on open source, so we've got the ability to, 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 to um, deploy that at, at a relative um, ease, so, so to speak. And we've got a lot of the, the leading technology providers in our open footprint to ensure that that happens, whether that be Microsoft or AWS or IBM or whatever it might be. And once again, we'll talk more about that later today. Finally, at the end of the day, and although there might be tools and systems that you may already be using, we wanted to make sure that at least every person that wanted to, or every organization that wanted to leverage the OFP had an ability to store, view, and report the emissions. That's not to say that this will automatically replace anything that you may have already spent time and energy on, but we wanted to make sure that we have a complete picture for any organization that's interested in the open footprint and, and sharing and reporting carbon emissions. And so we'll look at that in our session tomorrow around the demo, okay? And so, so if you think about these three buckets, um, we'll hear a lot about sort of the view of, and the importance of carbon. Uh, hopefully the fact that you're on this call recognizes the importance and the significance of carbon. Um, many of the executives uh, of, of our various organizations, including mine, have made you know very firm commitments or um, you know around their 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 um, their their commitments around reducing or um, you know uh, their their carbon impacts or their carbon footprints. Um, and ideally, this is a way to help us you know get there together collaboratively. Okay, so we've got the data platform where we'll look and talk about sharing the data. We've got the reference architecture about how we can deploy this solution and this data model within your landscape and within your technology interface and your solution providers. And we'll talk a little bit about the user interface. Okay, so that's an, an overall whole, um, uh, maybe a bit of a preview of the, of the sessions to come. I wanted to leave you with maybe one more slide is, is at the end of the day, this isn't how it's going to happen overnight. We've been iterating in an agile way, and, and many of you may come away from this call going, wait, what about this? What about that? Um, they haven't addressed this topic. Yes, we're aware that the, in, in many ways, this is, this, is not, uh, this is not a sprint, but a bit of a marathon, um, but we're gonna get there in an agile and iterative way. So our focus in MVP1 that we've been really focusing on right now is around scope one, scope two emissions. Um, we'll talk more about that later today if you're unfamiliar with those terms, but uh, the, the direct impacts that your organization may have in terms of carbon. 
Um, we've started to look at some of the, the technical functionality around user interfaces and, and the reporting. Um, and all of that is keeping in mind those three elements that I talked about earlier, right? The data platform, the data standards, the, the reference architecture, and that, that user interface. Later this year, we're going to expand this work. We've, we've done some great work with scope one, scope two. We're going to expand that now into scope three emissions, start to look at some of the calculations engines. Uh, once again, we'll talk more about that, I think, in our session tomorrow with the, with the data gumbo folks. Okay. Um, and then finally, last but not least, throughout this entire set of MVPs, we're once again continuing dialogues and engagements with all those different organizations that are out there. Okay. So that, in a nutshell, is what we're going to be doing in an open footprint. Hopefully, it gives you a good preview of the things to come. Um, there is a lot more detail that I think you'll see in the sessions today. I will also emphasize that this is a, the start of a journey. There is a lot more work to be done. Um, and part of the reason, hopefully, you're on this call is, is, to, is to think through how we can collaboratively get there together. Because uh, at the end of the day, I think we've all got the same objectives. We're all living in the same planet, living in the same sort of uh, ecosystem that we've got um, and there's a fundamental way to 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 be able to share and access that information so that it benefits all of us around this okay good um that's pretty much all i had for our session today um i wanted to kind of keep it fairly brief and and and, and concise um if there's any questions feel free to to chime in throughout the q a um throughout the session today um please do feel free to ask questions big or small um, at the end of the day, this is a learning and awareness session. So if at the end of the day we get through all of this and it's just, you know, listening to Sammy talk for four or five hours, that'll be an extremely boring session. I can guarantee you that. So we've got a lot of good panelists. We've got a lot of good speakers set up for today. Um, please do take advantage of that and ask questions throughout. So Heidi, if I can turn that back over to you to maybe kick off uh, with uh, Gomar, if that works. Sure. Thank you, Sammy. Uh, well done. And before we jump into the next presentation, are there any uh, questions at this point? You can certainly type them in in the Q&A chat box. Uh, our next session <clears throat> was scheduled to begin in about ooh, 15 minutes. So we're a little bit ahead of time, which is fine but just wanted to make sure we captured any questions at this point. So uh, we um, spun through this a little bit quickly initially, but I just wanted to point out some of our uh, links here. So we do have an open footprint forum web uh, page that's dedicated to the forum. There you'll find a lot of information about uh, the current um, uh, data and uh, we have a data sheet that you can actually also download uh, that gives a good summary, a good snapshot of the uh, Open Footprint initiative, as well as there's also uh, information that can be found there where if you're interested in joining or wanting to learn a little bit more about the open group or the open footprint forum there's a link there and you can also uh, just enter your information and uh, someone from our member services will uh, will respond back to you then we also have the current list of the current members so you'll be able to see all of the current members uh, that we have uh, had joined us since um, last September. And then, as I mentioned, also that we have an open group, open footprint forum, LinkedIn. It's open to anyone. You don't need to be a member. So uh, feel free to, to join that as well. And then there's also a webinar that we have on demand that uh, you can listen to that actually provides a nice introduction to the open footprint forum that was created uh, when we launched uh, the forum back in September. Um, so uh, were, were there any questions? I'm, I'm taking a peek just before we uh, introduce to the next one. This event will be, uh, yes, all the, all the presentations are being recorded. This is being recorded and they will be available in a, in a few weeks time. Okay, so if well, without further ado, then then I'll jump over to. We have a question. We do have a question that maybe you can answer. Oh, okay. Um, from Philip Harper. 
Um, general, general question is absolutely convinced on the importance on standards. The question is, are there sufficient standards for bodies like UN, WFF, Center for the Day Extends to comply to? Um, I'm pretty sure Gomo can talk to, to that one in a moment. Where we should not assume all the standards are there we need. And then we, we make assumptions. We will define standards where there, are, where there are no standards. And of course, we make it very, very clear. And when standards come about, we'll, we'll adopt them. But we're not going to wait for standards to happen. We will, we'll, we're needed, we'll adopt standards. Of course, we all we will go for standards. That's rule one. If they don't exist and we really need them to move forward, we'll define them. We'll make it very clear what we've done so we can move forward. And I'm pretty sure Goma can uh, give examples of what we do, what we do. Goma? Uh, 